Hey, welcome to the first game of Overwatch we have this season. Uh, today we are playing against Buna Vista in our first match, and it looks like they've already started about 15 seconds ago. We had a little bit of technical problems, sorry for the late join into the match. Um, and right now it looks like we are the orange team for our school colors, of course. And it is a pretty even so far. No scores have happened in the first 30 seconds. And good save there from uh, the orange team. I can't really tell exactly who the names are. Oh, and a, almost a really good shot from Todd there at the end. So our three players on our team, we have Todd, who is Tater. Um, we have Nate, which is Mellow's Nate. And then we have Alex, which is the last one, uh, Gimaz19. Um, and those three are the ones on our team. It looks like they're doing a few rotations here, get, making sure that ball is knocked right out of their side and so they can transition back into offense. There we go, good clear from Nate back onto their side. Looks like Alex is here staying at the uh, staying at the back to hit that ball right back in. And that should be a good lineup in, unless the blue team comes in and goes over the top and hits it in the sky. Oh, good lineup on, but they knock it away again. This is some pretty good defense from both teams here, it looks like. And, oh, going for the sky hit. Alex just barely misses it. Um, Todd's going for it here and will miss it just barely there. But the ball is still on our side as, they as our team rotates back to defend. Uh, it looks like they get a destruction. Ooh, good save there from Todd, making sure that they don't score at all. And now the ball is going onto their side, gets stopped by their team. And, oh, gets knocked back right into it. Oh, another destruction for their team, as it looks like they are uh, preparing to maybe make some offensive plays. Alex does get that block, sending it right back onto their side. Todd will get that block just barely. Nice save from him. Will be able to, oh, another one off the backboard this time. So no super big danger there. Oh, the ball is going right over the net. Okay. So basically, this game, for any of you who don't really know what Rocket League is, is basically just soccer with cars, and the cars can fly. Um, that's, a, that's the best I can explain it. Um, I don't know all the necessities. This is not one of my main games. And it looks like they will score there, sadly, as we will watch this, this score happen again. As It looks like Ryan on their team hits that good shot, and it looks like Nate just barely misses the save. All right, so here we go with the the very cinematic startup here. And usually the corners go because they are the closest. And it looks like we are starting on offense a, li a little bit with the ball. And then, okay, we'll go right back onto their side. Um, hopefully we can get this out and score a goal with some offense on ours. Todd is taking this into the sky, dribbling it in the air, maybe setting up a score with the other with from from his other teammates. And it looks like the oh no, the ball is going right for the goal, and they will score again. Looks like the, our team might have overextended on offense just a little bit there, allowing for the defense to for their defense to get a score all the way from the midfield. All right, looks like we'll be starting off with another tip off here, and. We will start with a with a pretty even tip off here, starting on our side a little bit. Hopefully we can get, oh, that's a good shot from Todd. Good block from their team though, as they get closer and closer, hopefully to getting a goal at least once in this match. Oh, and that was a very impressive goal from the sky there. Very good angle. Yeah, look at that angle, the double tap there, getting that in. All right. So we got another start here. Hopefully we can get another goal here in the next a minute and 45 seconds. So this is, so, oh! And that is a instant score right off the bat from Nate there. Very impressive how fast he got that. Let's watch that again as he goes up in the air to hit that aerial goal. Very impressive. As we will get another cinematic start as these two teams will. Oh, good start from our team from Todd as the ball will go back into the, back onto our side right away. Bounce off of the wall and go right on to, right for Todd to pick up. Todd might be able to line somebody up for this as he knocks it a little bit away and is gonna get destroyed by the other team here. 
And, oh, okay, no score will happen there. Nate will knock it away from the rest of the team as another one of them comes in, but Alex here with the save, getting it off of our side. Todd going in, Nate and Todd, maybe a little bit mis miscommunication there as both of them tried to go for the balls and neither one stayed back. And Nate will come in and barely save that there as Todd gets destroyed again. Nate with another amazing save from him. To, uh, Nate, uh, they'll get the ball back on our side, on their side at least. And oh, the ball is going back again as Nate is staying back to do the amazing work that he has been doing as the goalie so far. As it looks like Todd will go up and knock the ball away. As uh, okay, there we go. The ball is back on blue side. Hopefully we can generate a score from this as Todd might be going in. 30 seconds you remain. We need two goals in this. Oh, and Nate will be destroyed. Oh, and there goes Alex with a kick out into the blue area. And whoop, Todd hitting it up into the sky. It doesn't look like anybody's going right after it right now. As, oh, there goes N Alex going after it. And we will see. Okay, Nate is going to hit it off into the sky right into a collision with the other team. It looks like this might be the end of the match here unless something of some sort of miracle can happen for us as it looks like Todd will be destroyed and that will be the game. All right, that was a pretty quick game there that we had. Sadly, we ended up losing that, but we had some pretty impressive saves and shots from Nate there at the end. Um, and we will be going, so we will have a minute break in between this where the players can watch their, like, not really watch their next match, but, like, get prepared, take a sip of water or something like that. And I can explain to you guys a little bit of the rules of how this format works. It's basically going to be a best of five, so we at least have three chances to win, uh, three chances. And then if, if it keeps going back and forth, back and forth, the max game is five. First of three wins the whole thing. And basically, they'll have a minute in between each of these, and we'll see. I think maybe the server might change, and that's about it. Oh, hit ready. All right, perfect. So, and we will go right into the next match coming up pretty soon, I think, as the teams are now joining the right, the corresponding colors. So the only colors in this team are orange and blue. And we, of course, cho chose orange because we are the Tigers. It's the only natural response for us. We have to be orange. And I believe we will be starting up decently soon. It's coming close to a minute. And yep, here we go as we are starting. And it looks like we will start with the ball on the blue side right off the first tip off. Getting it in front of the goal and we score in the first five seconds. Nate coming in with a second goal for him over, over this entire series. Good for him. As let's watch that again. Just barely hitting that in too. Not much force needed. All right, and we will see another startup right away. Let's see if we can extend the score a little bit more as the ball will now start on the orange side. As is that uh, Nate misses it just barely. As okay, there goes Alex um, hitting the ball over onto the orange side. Oh, and Nate. Oh, the, they will barely miss thanks to Todd, and they will still get the score there at the end. Let's watch this again to make sure what happened. Okay, so it looks like the wall bounce and then right into there after all the defenses fell is what happened. As we will start with another tip off, 1-1 already, barely 20 seconds into the game. As we will start with the ball on the orange side and almost another quick goal right away. As it looks like, the, uh, this is getting very close to the goal, as it looks like Nate will be able to dribble it out maybe as he gets rammed in by another player. Todd looks like he'll hit it out a little twice there, and he'll get back onto the blue side, giving the defense of ours, uh, us a little bit of a breather. As Alex will come in and break up the dribble there, as hopefully we can get a score off of this, but it looks like our team might be playing a little bit in the back there. Oh, Alex will hit it back onto their side, up into the air, and we'll see if they'll do anything with that. It looks like the ball will go, oh, and there goes Nate hitting it off again. Going off the, the above, right above the goal. Todd is going for the ball as it hits the wall. It should be bounce and then right in front of the goal right there, but it will be blocked by the blue team. It looks like, ooh, the ball will go right above the goal as we do have a goalie sitting in the net right now. 
And they will, okay, we will knock the ball over into the blue side as it bounces and hits us and gets another hit from us. As it looks like Nate is going right for the ball pretty much at all times here. Uh, and, okay, there's Todd. He'll hit that ball. He might, he might be able to get an aerial goal or at least set up something, but do doesn't hit the double tap. Alex goes in there and might be able to get something out of this with Nate's shot. Oh, but it will get blocked again by the blue team. This blue team is some pretty good defense here as they are pretty much thwarting both of all of our offense here. But it looks like we will be able to hopefully stand up to their offense with our defense as the ball is now on our side, leaving it up to Todd to knock it away from everyone. Yep, and it will go right back onto the blue as Todd will chase it into the sky, line it up in front of the goal, and Nate will score again. Amazing assist from Todd there as he knocked it off the wall setting Nate right up for his third goal of the series. All right, and we will start here with two in the, with all three in the back, it looks like. So we'll start with a tip off right onto a tiny bit of blue side. Doesn't really matter because it goes right back onto our side. Nate is staying back to get those amazing saves that we've seen so far. Gets that in the air and knocks it away. Ooh, and that is a, ah. Oh. They, they score back right away with a vengeance almost. This is blue is able to get right past our defenses and get right in that angle right there. Alex is barely too low to get it. All right, and we'll start off here with another tip off as the, as both of them will pretty much not really do much with it as they just collide and nothing really happens from it. It looks like Alex will be able to hit that out as the as it bounces off the ceiling it might it might that's pretty close to the goal and that will score for Alex that was a, an interesting goal let's check what happens here so Alex hits it all the way over here and it looks like it just bounces a few times it might be considered a little bit of an own goal for the other team and I think it is considered an own goal unlucky for them but very lucky for us we we like it when they get an own goal and it looks like we will get a tip off onto their side again, initiating our offense so we can maybe get something out of this. Oh, and they're going right for a big de a big offensive play. Good save from Nate though, as he's able to knock it away from, the, from our side as it looks like they're going for another goal, but it will bounce off right above the goal. And it looks like it'll just keep stagnating here a bit as, oh, that is another, that's another try, but Alex gets a nice save in there as they tried for the aerial goal. As the ball goes up into the air again, but Nate clears it away. As it looks like they're going for another one, but Alex will be able to knock it away. Now it's on the blue side. It's our turn for some offense. Todd hits it right back onto the blue. It looks like it's bouncing right in front of the goal, but just barely gets stopped by the blue. As maybe Alex will come in right from behind and hit that ball, keep it, keeping it on the blue side. Looks like they might go for some rotations here to get back into the, get back into the defensive side as Todd Keeps it on the offense. We might get somebody here to come in and stop it. There it goes. Alex with a nice shot bouncing off the, off the backboard and will be knocked back onto the orange side. As we have defense here from Alex again, hitting it up onto the wall as blue team goes for it in the air but just barely misses a few times. We'll almost get it, but Todd knocks it all the way, clearing it and might be able to get a goal here as blue is able to defend perfectly. We honestly just need to stall for a minute. Oh, but they will score. Commentator's curse strikes again. I am sorry. <laughs> uh, I'm very sorry about that one. I, that's completely on me. Um, I said that we needed to stall just for a minute, and they instantly score. Of course. <laughs> but we will be starting here with another tip-off. Uh, and it goes right onto the blue side, just a little bit, though, into the air as... And that looked like Nate trying to pass it, and Alex will be able to hit it right back onto the blue side, but blue will be able to hit it right there. Will be able to, will not be able to make that goal, hitting it barely off of its angle. Will, that's actually a pretty decent shot, but blue will save it there at the end. Another shot from Nate that'll bounce right in front of the goal. Todd will just barely miss it as blue's continuing to show their really good defense. That would have been almost a free goal if Todd wasn't there to save it. Alex with another pretty good clear getting it out. And it looks like that's a, on a pretty good angle, but Blue will clear it again. as It looks like they're going for a little bit of a combo here, trying to get out 
trying to get the ball into some offense in the last 10 seconds before overtime. It looks like Nate will get another save here at the end. And it looks like this, this game might be going right into overtime unless... Okay, there it goes, there it goes. It is it overtime? That ball was almost going in, but they just barely stopped it. And the overtime will start with the ball on the orange side getting hit right into the blue side, followed by Alex there getting hit right by Nate, almost getting right on the shot. And then it looks like it'll go right back onto, the, onto orange. And looks like we will be able to get the ball out of our side and get it onto the blue side as Todd is going for it. We'll be able to get that angle off the wall, at least line it up for somebody as it falls just barely over. It's right in front of the goal. If Todd can just hit this, oh, just very close, very close to that goal there. And it looks like they will be going for their offensive push now as, they're, as the ball just almost gets instantly cleared there by Alex and Nate. Good teamwork from them. And that ball is going right in and just barely gets saved by the blue team. Very close there as it looks like we might be able to, as the offense of the blue is, oh, good, good knock away from Todd there as he goes in the air. That's the shot, that's the game. Very good final aerial shot from Todd. Let's look at that one more time as he goes into the air to get that beautiful shot to end that game in a 4-3 three, a three thriller there. So now it is 1-1 one, one for both teams. Um, so I'll hold it up like this so you guys can see. So one for Down, one for Buena Vista. Um, as we will now go into the second game. Um, oh, okay. Okay. <laughs> um, so we have this another minute again here. As I will actually tell you guys a little bit about the schedule coming up next week. So right now... We are in the Rocket League preseason matches. So we have this Friday, and the next Friday is preseason. And I believe after that, the season actually starts, and that's when like the placing and everything will happen then. And after that, we also have Overwatch and Smash Bros. Overwatch will be starting next week on Thursdays, hopefully around 7. We don't know the exact time yet. We'll send out times accordingly. Hmm. And then we will have uh, Smash Bros. happening on Tuesdays. And I believe the first match for that is starting early in February. They don't have a preseason like Overwatch or Rocket League. As we will start here with the ball pretty much on the blue side, five seconds in. As the ball is getting launched, and good save there from Todd as the ball goes right in. Good. Sadly, that was a good shot from the blue team, as it looks like. Todd is able to as is able to block the first one, but Alex is not able to get up fast enough to block the second one. And we will start here. Ten seconds in, this is looking pretty much exactly like the last game of straight thriller as the blue goes right on to the uh, as the ball starts right onto the orange side, almost going right in, but will get blocked by his own teammate as Nate will as a Todd will actually clear the ball here as actually the ball will stay here on our orange side. We need to get this out as Ryan, oh, as Ryan is doing a really good job. <laughs> uh, I think that is his fourth goal right now, I think. I have not been counting for him. Um, but it looks like he will score again there as it has been two goals against us in the first 30 seconds of the game. Hopefully we can get some goal going here so we don't look like the first game and we actually get a few more goals and might be able to get a win here as it looks like the ball is going back onto our side as it looks like Nate is there to defend and we'll hit we'll clear that ball out and might be able to get a goal there but we'll just barely miss the ball as he's now rotating back it looks like the it looks like to, uh, Nate here is again charged with the offense or with the defense and we'll just barely miss there well, let's look at that one more time as it looks like the aerial shot will come in and Nate's just almost not even looking at it, it looks like. It just goes right into the wall instead of at the ball. Now, it's 3-0, to zero, but there's still four minutes. There's still a lot of time. Todd almost makes the ball, but gets saved just barely by the blue team. Right into the air and off the wall. Alex is hitting it in the air, hopefully going near that 100 boost. Blue will grab it as this other blue will... Oh, barely gets saved by Todd. The great save by him as it looks like Nate will be chasing after the ball here. 
Todd will knock it away again as, oh, Nate will just barely miss it. That might open some opportunities for Blue. Blue will instead destroy uh, Alex there as Todd hits it in and gets knocked away again right by Blue. Blue's defense is just holding us out of their side as Blue is continuing with their ruthless offense, scoring another goal. Oh. Let's look at that one more time. As it just looks like Nate just wasn't fast enough to get that ball, or he got pushed out of the way, it looked like. As we will see another tip off here. Hopefully being able to get something and it start it's gonna start with blue on our uh, with the ball on our side and Todd being instantly destroyed. Hopefully he can come back soon so we can get something going as it looks like oh and that oh that was very close as Nate will just not be able to save it again right there. As it just he kind of just stood there and wasn't able to do much right there. He he almost aligned himself and just wasn't fast enough to get the ball right there. As now it's five to zero. This is a very difficult lead to surpass, but we might be able to do something with the three minutes of time that we have. If and it looks like Nate will just barely miss the aerial as Alex will come in afterwards and get it. It doesn't, and it looks like Todd went back to defend. At, oh no, Todd's here, and will be keeping it in the air as long as possible. Oh, and that is ah oh, very close to the goal, but will be saved by Blue. Alex will hit it out at oh. And Nate will just barely miss. Todd with the comeback, though, as it will just hit off the side. But Alex with this goal right there. Very good goal from Alex right there. Let's look at that again from the assist. So Todd hits it off the wall, just barely missing. And Alex will just hit it nicely in there. So now we are at least on the board. And we might be able to use this momentum to score at least four more points, hopefully. As it will start with the ball on the blue side. That's a very good start as it looks like Alex is tracking it down, might be able to hit it, but the blue does clear. Nate will keep it on their side as it looks like blue will try and clear it again onto the left. Todd is going in the air, just barely misses it, as Nate will stand for the defense and just isn't able to save it, sadly. As it looks like the, that's a very good aerial shot from blue there, and Alex just, or uh, sorry, Nate not able to defend it there. All right, and we will start with another tip-off here, and it looks like that tip-off is going to be saved by Alex going right for the goal, but Blue barely knocking it away, as it looks like the the goal is going to be very put back, or the ball is going to be put back onto the orange side, as it's now again put back onto the blue side, just put up into the air by Todd, as it looks like Alex will chase it but barely miss the ball, as Blue will knock it away, and Nate will hit it right back onto the blue side. We got to keep it on this blue side to score. And it looks like Alex will be there. Oh, he gets destroyed as he tries to knock the ball away. And that will be another score as we were down a defender and we were able and we lost that point there. Yeah, the Nate was almost able to save it there at the end, but just a little too slow, it looks like. Seven to one. This is a very difficult lead to surpass, but I think in these last two minutes, we can do it. We got a little bit of time left, and you always got to stay positive no matter what. So here comes Alex and Nate and Todd with the score right away. Just a few, just five more goals just like that, and we got this, all right? <laughs> They're a little rattled. We got the momentum. See that beautiful shot from Todd? It's great. And assist from Alex there as well, as it looks like they will be starting up again with their tip-off. This happens after every shot, of course. And it looks like it will be starting on the orange side. Nate will not be able to clear it, sadly, as that's an almost open net for blue, as it looks like an aerial shot will be attempted, and Alex will be able to save it, but no one will be able to stop the second shot from coming in. Ah, oh, tragic shot from there as, as the save came out, but not able to save from the second shot. Very tough angle to save for, for the second one right there. Now, we need goals like that. They don't, okay? Uh, it looks like the ball will start on the blue side here and the blue will instantly knock it away as somebody was already on the wall prepared for it as it looks like Alex is going for it and might be able to clear it here but blue keeps it on the orange side as the ball is staying in the air at pretty much all times Todd will be able to clear it here as he is flying through the air might be able to get an aerial goal but is blocked by the tough defense of blue 
Uh, Blue's defense is really strong here, and our defense is just not able to keep up with their offense. But good save there from Nate, finally making up for his other missed saves this game as he is able to knock, as we are able to maybe clear this ball here from Alex as the ball goes into the air in the middle, might cause some problems, but the ball will get shot right back in, bounce off the back, and Todd will be able to clear it this time. Oh, but gets knocked away again. Isn't able to keep up that dribble for Todd. Todd is coming back in, but Nate's going to get it. And we might be able to score here on that bounce made it a little bit scary, but we were able to score there from Nate. That is his fifth goal, I believe, on him. Very impressive game from, uh, from Nate here, as it does bounce off and score right in. And we will start here with 8-3, to three. not looking great. But this is only game three, and we have at least one more game to go through. <laughs> so hopefully the next game won't be just like this, as it looks like oh, Todd is able to save it as the ball is going up and will be saved again from Nate and Alex there, both getting credit for a save and then getting scored right by blue team right afterwards. Let's look at that again as I was looking at the saves. We'll be knocked away, and then, oh, and no one was able to get up for the last one. This is a little bit of a destruction match as it is currently 9 to 3. Hopefully we can just make sure that they can't score any more or at least score at least one more for us as it looks like we have maybe gotten some momentum on offense as the ball is actually going back. Oh, Todd is keeping it on the blue side very well. Some simple movements as Nate will hit it there but Ryan will just keep it out of the goal. And at this point, the ball just has to hit the ground and it will end. But they, oh, good save there from Todd as the ball is still in the air and the game has not ended yet. At this point, Blue will just end the game and that will be the game as Todd, or not Todd, the Blue team has won their second match. So right now it is two for Buena Vista. This is the Blue team. And one for us. We have one more match. Um, at at mo at minimum, if if Buena Vista wins, it's over, and if we win, we go to game five, and then we we have to keep playing. So they're taking that another minute to hopefully strategize, think about what went wrong, what didn't go wrong, what they need to keep going on, uh, what they need to change up a little bit. So hopefully they can break through that defense of the the defense of the blue team, and hopefully we can get something going as we will start up pretty soon, I believe, uh, with the next match, as the minute is coming close to an end. And th these matches do seem to go a little bit faster than the Smash matches. The Smash matches lasted almost an hour every single time. Uh, this has only lasted about 30 minutes so far, and it'll probably end in about maybe around 7.40ish is what I'm assuming, but we'll see. As it looks like we will be starting the next match here. And this time we'll see the tip, the first tip off as the ball starts on the red, on the orange side, as it, instantly two people are destroyed. Todd is juggling it in the air, keeping it up there, doing some fancy tricks, I must say. And now it'll land on the ground and, and Blue is going to clear it back onto the orange side. As hopefully, as we do, are, we are able to defend there. And we are able to hopefully knock it away again as it, the ball is in the air and the blue will keep it on our side. Hopefully it will get cleared here by Todd as he is dribbling it in the air again. And as he is going for that goal but will be stopped by blue there. Going for the 100 instead. Getting it. Ooh, it will, be, will be scored there as our defense was just not at the net at the time. As we will watch that again as blue here gets past one defender. And then Nate is not able to get into that goal there to stop it. As we will start with another tip off, only one to zero for now. You might be able to score a few times and get this ball, this game right back into our hands. As the ball is going right into the net, a beautiful aerial shot from Alex there as he's gone up into the air and able to hit that down right in the first few seconds of, the, of that point there as we will start off with another tip off here. This is very common for everything. As it looks like the 
We, the ball will start pretty stagnated, but Todd will hit it right into the goal as that is like a four second goal right away or a nine second goal, sorry, as Todd is able to hit it right in between two defenders and able to get that amazing shot there right away. And we will see another tip off already as we have taken the lead two to one. Hopefully this will be a game just like the last one, but with the scores reversed in our favor. As Todd is in the air, going for another aerial goal and we'll get another one. Amazing shot from Todd there, just, just basically just laying it up. He's like a basketball player out here. Look at that layup right there. He's under, he's upside down while he scores. <laughs> Very impressive from him as another, as now we are up two points with four minutes left. Hopefully we can extend this game a lot more as it looks like Blue t Nate, or Alex will be able to save it right there as we are able to knock it away from the, the, our side and knock it into the blue side. But it is pretty stagnant in the air there. Todd is staying back as Alex will just drive by and miss entirely. As Blue will keep it on the orange side as Alex is kind of fumbling around the ball, hopefully able to knock it away. And Blue will knock it away themselves as Blue will knock it back into our side. And there comes Alex knocking it away as well. Hopefully being able to do something with this as Alex has scored a few times this game and might be able to get a few saves as well as the ball is knocking it, is getting right back onto the blue side, but blue is just keeping it on their side as Todd is the last line of defense and will save it there as the rest of his team just misses the ball entirely a few times. It looks like the ball right on the wall and then hit it into the middle here as Alex will be able to knock it away. Back onto the blue side, Todd is with the ball on the offense. Nate will just barely miss, miscalculating that angle a little bit and won't be able to get any offense from that. As the ball is now on the orange side again, Todd, it looks like he's going for it there. Gets that underside hit, might be able to get a little bit more with this dribble and won't be able to get anything from it as it looks like the blue side will be able to knock it over onto the orange side and might be able to get something from this from orange and orange will be able to clear it just barely as it looks like now blue will destroy todd as he was the offense of this game so far as it looks like the and another good knock away from uh, from nate though as todd comes in from the grave and scores <laughs> resurrected just to score that's all we need him for <laughs> I think he spawned maybe exactly two seconds ago before that goal <laughs> and was able to score right away. And it looks like the ball will start just barely on the orange side, but and now it's getting more onto the orange side as these zigzag bounces are coming out. Nate will hit it right back onto the blue, though, going near that 100. Nate will follow it up, lining somebody up, hopefully, but blue will knock it away, sadly. As Alex will be able to keep it on, not lining it up for Todd as Todd will all oh, just barely miss on the side there as that i believe is his first miss of this game but nate will come in and just short shoot through two defenders perfectly as he lines up that shot amazingly and just shoots it right through and just both defenders were not able to get it at all one was too one was too fast and one was too slow as it looks like this might just be a little bit of a repeat of last game but in our favor commentators curse has not hit yet very gladly for us as it looks like the ball will bounce off and then might be able to okay Todd will be there to stop it and maybe clear it here as it looks like Nate is also there to clear it as blue is just keeping it on the side doing a little bit of hits Nate will hit it there it looks like Alex will be destroyed blue is the only one who have gotten destructions in this game I don't think we've seen any anybody from blue be destroyed but good save there from Todd as it looks like the ball will be maybe knocked out from Todd here again. And I think Todd will keep this dribble up. Might be able to get a goal, but Alex will be able to knock it away as Todd chases after it. Gets that 100 and might be able to get something off of this with his offense. As it looks like uh, right here, Todd is coming in and will bounce it off, setting up hopefully somebody for this goal. As it looks like Alex and Nate were both trying for it, but... Either, either one of them would have scored there, it looked like, as the ball was just kind of sitting there. No blue team was around to defend. And Alex was just a little bit faster than Nate at the end. Now it's 6 to 1. Blue needs to score 5 points in the next minute. And 
at this point, I don't think that's happening, with, especially with these saves coming out from our team. Both Nate and Alex and Todd are all playing really good defense this game, as it looks like the rules have been reversed from last game, as our team is playing some really good defense, while the blue team has been missing on some defensive plays for them. Todd is going in with his dribbles again, knocks it up into the air, and Nate will come in with the, almost an aerial goal, but Blue will knock it away just barely as it now is back onto the orange side. But Todd is there to knock it away again. They move around this, this field so fast that they can't... And Todd will just get another goal there. No one was there to stop him. This is like the defensive misses that Blue has been struggling with, it looks like. As it was now 7-1, to one, is just no one was there. No one is stopping Todd at this point. Uh, can we look at Todd's stats really quick? Uh... I think you just press six. Yeah. So Todd, it looks like he has uh, four goals just in this match and it, five shots on his own and three saves too, as we can now switch back to the auto cam as it looks like somebody got destroyed here as it looks like Todd will almost get another goal, but is saved by blue at the end. And that will most likely be the game. Nope, the ball is still in the air. It will be set up for somebody as Alex will just hit it right into the ground, ending the game right there. It was a very impressive game from Todd and mostly everyone, actually. They all played some pretty solid defense, as we can see the stats here. Uh, Todd ended up having four goals. Uh, I'll just read them out. And then Alex had two and Nate had one. And they all had a good number of saves, too. So it looks like uh, we will go into our final match as uh, the as this will be the final match of this series, and hopefully we can come home with our preseason first game dub for Rocket League. Uh, however, it looks like we have maybe some problems as one of the blue team members has seemingly dropped out. We do not see them on the on the player list, but. It looks like it will work out, hopefully, as there there should be enough people in this in this lobby, I think. Um, we'll just have to wait for this one minute to end, and then we can get right back into the match. Hope you guys are liking the stream here today, as this is our first match for, uh, for Rocket League. As it looks like everyone is here, we just need to let one more person join, and then we can officially get this game started as... We will start up very soon. And right here is where we are going to start the last match as the ball is on the our orange side. And Todd is here, able to keep the ball, dribbling it a little bit. Oh, but gets right past Todd, able to steal the ball and score right away. Not, not a great start here, but we might be able to get something out of it anyways as we are going to start with another kickoff here. So hopefully we can score here very quickly just like they did respond very quickly with uh, the ball starting still on the orange side, but it's not that bad as the ball goes into the air, bouncing off the ceiling back onto the floor. As it looks like Alex will be able to hit that right into the goal. No one was there from blue to stop it as he just had a free goal there as all he needed to do was hit it and it would have been a goal. Um, yep, just right there. Clean shot. Perfect. And that, that's what you want in this game is you just want to score very quickly, very easily, as it looks like the ball will start on the blue side, or on the orange side, more or less, as, oh, Alex will be able to get another clear here for himself, but will be destroyed right afterwards. And it looks like Todd here will be able to clear it, maybe setting up something on the side here as he is following the ball, but blue will be able to hit it away from him. As Alex is coming in again, almost scoring there at the end, but will will be just missing as or it will be the ball will be saved by the blue team, as it is almost scored there by the blue team, but thankfully they miss uh, on the angles a few times. It it looks like Nate is going to save the ball there at the end. That was very close because um, Alex missed in the air. And Todd is going for this ball in the air and will get stopped by Blue as the ball is now going right for the net. But Alex is able to save it there as is going again. But Todd is able to save it this time as he's now taking it up the wall but will be hit away from a Blue team. Alex just barely misses it and so does Nate. The net is wide open and Blue will score. Oh, that was just unlucky there from, from our team as the team just left uh, missed both defensive stops and just 
the blue was able to hit it right in. As we will start here with another tip off, uh, we will go right into it as the as the ball hits from the ceiling off the wall, and we'll be able to maybe get something. Um, <laughs> All right, so um, we got a little bit of a problem in chat, it looks like. Uh, I think we have a little bit of a scam artist we've got in chat here. And we will be quickly banning him from the chat so none of, no one gets scammed at all. Uh, but while that's happening, the game is still going on with Nate getting the ball into the offense onto the blue side. And Todd just barely missing it as the save comes out from blue. As the aerial goal comes out from the, or not goal, but now they will score. As it's now three to one, and we need to score just twice and able to get this back. All right, as that the, everyone just missed there at the end, as you can see from the replay. And hopefully we we can be able to get something here. Um, I don't want to be back to the chat. Oh, there it is. There we go. All right, so it looks like the blue, uh, the ball will start on the blue side as it'll now go onto the orange side, bounce off the wall, and just get missed by another blue team. It looks like ooh, blue will almost will do something fancy, but Todd will be able to knock it away as it gets knocked into again. As hopefully someone will be able to stop it, and they and they looks like it will be as Todd takes it up the wall and might be able to get something out of this as he's getting on the offense. As, Alex will just barely miss and not able to get high enough for it, for the ball there. And it looks like Todd will be able to knock it away again. Oh, nope, Blue is going to stop, but Todd is just waiting there in the wings to stop it. Oh, and a destruction there on Art, uh, from the Art from Blue team. As it looks like another destruction comes out to kill Todd. It's truly the biggest thorn in their side and they will score off of that. All right, so it looks like it is now four to one. We need three scores in these last two minutes to tie um, and then go into overtime just like we did in that second match. Um, hopefully we can get something going here as the as instantly Nate will destroy Ryan here. I think that was our first destruction on our team as the oh the the net was almost was basically all the way open but Nate was able to stay there and save as Todd is able to stay there and save for the second time Alex is able to get it onto the blue side here as, ooh, almost getting that really good shot, but Blue is able to stop it. Todd coming in with a shot behind him and will be able to score perfectly. As a great shot comes out from Todd right there at the end as the first shot from Nate gets stopped. And this is the start to the comeback. We only need two more goals here in this last minute and 40 seconds. As we are starting here with the tip off, and there goes the ball hitting right, oh, and there, Todd is able to hit it back onto the blue side. It's in the air. Blue is able to hit it onto the orange side. And Alex is there to defend as the ball goes into the air. Gets lined up for blue, but Nate is there. Oh, and Nate won't be able to stop it as the ball gets hit right into the goal. Very unlucky there from, uh, from the bounce there. As it looks like, yeah, Nate is just not able to get enough height to block that goal. As we will start here with another tip off, the tip off will bring the ball right onto the blue side as much little as that matters that we have found because it can go easily onto the orange side right away as Todd will save it from that score. The ball will get lined up in the middle, but it looks like it'll go right back onto the blue side instead. Todd will hit it onto, onto the blue side for sure and follow up with his own, lining somebody up. Alex just barely misses it as Nate is following it himself. Will not be there to save it though as he isn't able to knock it away as the ball gets, goes right in. Yeah, he sees he hits it there, and then Blue is right there to stop him, or to hit it right again. We need four points here. All right, we can do it. We got a minute left. I've seen crazier things. Um, the ball will kind of start up onto the orange side as Todd is able to save it there, as it looks like something will maybe happen with Oh, blue. Ooh, amazing save from Todd, just barely saving it as he might, as they might be able to clear it here and get some kind of offense going with Todd shooting right there. Will save from blue as it looks like Alex is there to knock the ball back into the offense. Might be able to set up something on the side as the ball is in the middle right now. Todd's going for it, just barely misses right underneath. 
Nate is going for it, uh, going for it in, in the air, just barely over the ball, it looks like. He's going to chase it back. Todd is in the air, getting the ball right back onto the blue side. Alex is there as well. Only 19 seconds left, not looking great from this, but it looks like Todd is, might be able to get the ball centered at least so someone can score. As It looks like Alex is able to hit it there and might be able to get one more goal before the time ends, but it looks like it's going to... Oh, Todd might be able to get it, and that will be the game, sadly, as I believe that is all the entire game here. As a very, very competitive game, went to game five, um, and we will have an interview here uh, with one of the players, as uh, it looks like everyone's leaving the match, and we will and Very close, though. It was very competitive, and pretty much all of the matches kept everyone excited. And for our first match, I wouldn't say that's that bad. Um, now we just have to wait for the interview. I will grab his chair and bring it over a little bit closer. Um, as we will set up for him. As hopefully he'll come in soon. <laughs> hopefully he hasn't forgotten or anything like that. <laughs> um, but overall, that was a pretty good match for the first in the season. These guys have been playing since the fall almost. As long as the Smash guys have been playing, just didn't have a, just didn't have a thing set up entirely. Um, but it looks like we will be starting, uh, or not starting another match, but we will be starting the interview hopefully soon uh, whenever he comes back. Um, I'm trying to figure out the chat thing that happened earlier. There we go. We brought it back. All right. Is Nate ready for the interview? Bathroom. Okay. Do you want to do the interview first then? All right. <laughs> so it looks like uh, our first interviewer was is going to the bathroom real quick. So we will ha instead have our coach here. The mic is muted currently. Um, so Coach Aaron, Coach Blackman, I don't know. Um, how do you think that match went? Uh, really, really well. Um, yeah, I, I think those games were really close. Uh, obviously, game three and four kind of got away from uh, us and then them, I think. But uh, all in all, like, those, were, those were some pretty close matches for, I think, their players are, are ranked higher than ours. So yeah. yeah, so yeah, you mentioned that we were kind of a little bit of underdogs earlier mm. as, their, as their players were ranked a little bit higher. Do you think we made a good showing even though we were those underdogs? Yeah, absolutely. And, and I think that it shows us what we need to work on. Um, these are going to be fantastic replays because we get to see, uh, okay, what, what's not working for us, what's working for them, and how can we kind of bridge that gap. Mm -hmm. What are your kind of expectations for this season as we're coming up? Uh, gosh, <laughs> um, just... Uh, hopefully, I just want them to have a good time, and I want them to, uh, you know, stay competitive, but uh, keep learning. Um, they've already been ranking up a lot since they got here, um, and they're they're playing together as a team really well. Uh, so there's there's a lot we can work on from today. But overall expectations, um, I guess I don't have like a, you know, uh, hopefully we we can make playoffs. So we just need to get to the top half of our division, but. Uh, that's obviously weeks away. Yeah. So uh, we have one more preseason match, right, for Rocket League? Yep. And then we start the actual season? Yes, yes. So we were supposed to have one here at 8 o'clock, uh, but unfortunately the other team couldn't field enough players, so they're going to have to forfeit. Uh, next week we'll have, I believe, uh, two two matches again. Um, so, And then we'll have a week off, and then six weeks of regular play. All right. And would you mind kind of explaining what this preseason is for? Sure, yeah. So this is to kind of set up the divisions. Um, obviously, NECC is going to be taking our ranks and everything, um, but then, you know, that, that's not the only thing that you can factor in because uh, people are going to play either better or maybe even worse than their ranks. Uh, for anyone who has ever tried to rank up in a multiplayer game, like, you never know what teammates you're, you're going to get. So uh, yeah. these preseason matches are to kind of gauge how we do. Um, and so... Today we were kind of punching up a little bit, and so um, I think we held on really, really well. 
and hopefully that then guides the NECC to you know place us into a division that works for us. Yeah. All right. Thank you. Yeah. Thank you for the interview. As you can hand it off right to Alex, who's now finished his bathroom break. Uh, Nate. Nate. Sorry. <laughs> I only mix you guys up like once in the actual <laughs> commentating. So, yeah, for sure. uh, all right. So, how do you think it went from a player perspective? I heard from um, the coach. So, I think it went really well. Um, our positivity was good throughout the match, even though there were some downs. Mm -hmm. um, our positivity was there. It was there, which means, I mean, we can do anything with positivity. Yeah. So, um, and as a team, we played very well. Um, we were making plays, um, and at times when the communication was off, we let that we let each other know that, and. Um, you know, if we lost, man, it doesn't matter. Uh, it was a high-ranked team. Uh, mm -hmm. That means we'll do really good against our rank. So yeah, yeah, uh, yeah. I think that was a very. It was definitely entertaining. I will say. Yeah. I, I was able to hear your guys' positivity from in here. Mm -hmm. um, I don't know if the stream heard it. Hopefully not. But I was able to hear it. So I'm glad you guys were able to stay positive throughout the even those matches where you guys where you guys were getting blown out in match two. Yeah. Um, now, what do you think you can do to improve for the next match? Um. Uh, I'll start with, like, for me personally and then as a team. Uh, for me, I think that, like, I was a bit shaky the first couple games, especially because, like, first eSports competition ever. Uh, yeah. I was shaking. Yeah, I was, like, shaking the yeah. second game. So um, maybe find a way to, like, calm myself down a little bit. Um, but you can't really control that. It's the mm -hmm. adrenaline. So Yeah. And then as a team, um, it's just more time playing, like, playing together. Um, we just need more hours playing together. Yeah. And uh, practicing like rotations with the goal and uh, keeping the game speed faster. So mm -hmm. that's what we need to work on. Yeah. I mean, you yourself did actually pretty good in that first one. You scored a few goals there. Mm -hmm. um, and then I, I noticed after a while, Todd started taking over more of the offense yeah. as yeah. you and Alex yeah. started taking more defensive roles. Yeah. It's what he does. Yeah. Yeah. So. Uh, would you mind kind of explaining how the roles work in your team? Is there like kind of structure already? I mean, there's not. I mean, for roles, it's mainly like first man, second man, third man. Mm -hmm. But that really just depends on who takes the ball first after yeah. a defensive possession. Um, and then like really Todd, like he explained it. Um, everybody has like free will to try and make their own plays. Mm -hmm. And then at times, like maybe the person like, Calling for a pass, plays for a certain pass, yeah. or ask for his for a certain pass, and then uh, we'll be going for that play. Or I mean, yeah, we just we just have a lot of freedom, uh, and I'll think for that. So, mm -hmm. so how much like strategy comes into playing in this? Because like I know you guys only get that one minute, so is everything just else like super on the fly kind of thing? I mean, in between games, um, we were always looking at ways we can improve next game. Um, looking at their weaknesses um, was good, and then we were talking about our strengths and how they correlate with each other, mm -hmm. and then trying to get goals based off that. Um, what was the other question you asked? Uh, it was like, so like like the strategizing or is like always on the fly for the strategizing. Oh, I mean, I mean mainly yeah. I mean it's on the fly, but we have a certain like rotation that we go through. Yeah. But most of our offensive players are just like. We kind of just like have chemistry and we like feel each mm -hmm. other's plays, yeah. and we're able to just score goals off of that. All right, that makes yeah, that makes sense. So. All right, uh, so I, I think that is all of my questions. Thank you for coming in for the interview. Yeah. Um, and I think that'll be it for today. Cool. As I will end the stream off. You can go ahead and cool get back into the team. Sweet. Thank you so much. Right. Yeah, of course. Yeah. All right. So that was Nate and Coach Blackman or Aaron. Um, Thank you guys for watching the first game of uh, Rocket League. We'll see you guys here again on Thursday for the first preseason match of Overwatch next week. Uh, so we'll see you then. Thank you guys. Ne see you next time.